Hello everyone, I am Romina Reyes, a specialist in the Chile's training program. And today I want to share a little bit of my country. And let's start with welcome to Chile, where the impossible is possible. We are located at the very end of the world. And we are a long and narrow country with a notorious geographical contrast. Actually, this is a real picture taken from space and you clearly see how narrow the country is. And if you cannot dimension how long it is, it's as long as the United States. But despite our geography, we are very well connected with the rest of the world. There are 18 airlines uh, flying directly to Chile and connecting us with the rest of the, of the world. But let's, uh, let's see some reasons to why this is Chile. And we are, we're going to concentrate on these five reasons. There are uh, some reasons like different landscapes. Our privilege and nature give us breathtaking landscape all around the country. The location being located at the end of the world between a mountain range and the Pacific Ocean means something and means contrast. That provide us diversity in our flora, in our uh, fauna, in our animals, and in the landscape, and of course, in the weather. We are all year round destination. There is no specific time to visit the country. You will enjoy it anytime. But for me, one of the most important reasons is the people. Our people and our tradition, that is what makes us unique. But in a long and narrow country, where to start? Chile is divided in five geographical zones, very easily to identify. North, at um, the Atacama Desert, in the beginning of the country, and then moving, moving to the south, found Santiago, Valparaiso, and Central Valley. Another zone is Rapa Nui, uh, well known as Easter Island, and moving in the continental, uh, moving back to the continental uh, and moving forward, we'll find lakes and volcano zones, and in the extreme south, Patagonia and Antarctica. But let's talk about each one of these, the North and the Atacama Desert. Despite uh, about maybe what you can see when you think in desert, far from being a desolate, arid wilderness, the Atacama Desert is overflowing with life. Its ancient, its ancient culture offer a warm welcome to modern travelers and fertile oasis sustain an astonishing diversity of life here in the world's driest desert. Or you can experience a journey to the starting joy, observe constellations, planets, shooting stars, and all manner of celestial bodies in the spectacular Chilean sky, the clearest in the entire southern hemisphere. Chile enjoys more than 300 clear days per year, and with little or no light pollution in the north, so conditions are ideal for stargazing under open sky. And for a truly close encounter with the planets, you can visit one of the many astronomical observatories open to visitors. Another reason to visit the north, there are warm sunshine, sea and sun. What better ingredients for a fabulous holiday? You'll discover ideally, idyllic beaches, ideal for sunbathing, as well as more dramatic shores. Many offer fantastic opportunities for water sports and nautical activities and over 4,000 kilometers of Chilean coast. 
visit the north and enjoy year-round sunshine and the warm waters of the Pacific, Pacific Ocean. Ideal for stretching out uh, on your towel and soaking up some rays. And continue with our journey, we find Santiago, Valparaíso, and the Central Valleys. Discover Santiago, the capital of Chile, with its fine parks, uh, numerous sporting and cultural activities, you'll enjoy fabulous food in the city's many of varied restaurants, as well as a thrilling nightlife scene. And if you love snow and winter sports, you can visit Chile dur during the southern winter and try out some of the best sky slopes in South America. Against a majestic Andean backdrop, it's only two hours road journey from uh, the mountains to the ocean. And you can enjoy a day of winter sports before a uh, Scrumptious seafood diner of the coast. Oh, another uh, another reason uh, another attractive in the Central Valley is Valparaiso. You can lose yourself in the hilly port city of Valparaiso and discover an intense atmospheric palette of colors and flavors. Then relax and cool off in the Pacific Ocean at one of the beautiful nearby beaches, uh, such as uh, Viña del Mar or Reñaca, just close to Valparaíso. And of course, wine and fine food. In the Central Valley, you will find different valleys uh, spares for uh, wine testing. So you can experience new flavors aromas and colors with a tasting glass in hand as you enjoy the sight and sounds of a famous vineyard. Don't miss the opportunity to visit the valley and, and vineyards where Chile's talented enologists make some of the world's best red and white wines. This is a, another zone of the country, as I said, Rapa Nui, well known as Easter Island. There's no inhabited spot in the world quite so isolated as Chile and Polynesia. Baba Nui is a one of a kind destination whose very remoteness lends its unmistakable authenticity and an aura of mystery. Explore Rapa Nui's pinks and beaches, its volcanic coast and windswept grassland and of course the monumental Moai statues, over 1,000 of them bearing silent witness of a long lost complex society. The south, its lakes and volcano. You can, uh, you can revitalize your sense in rich southern landscape feel with native uh, species like the Araucario pine, contemplating the immense uh, Pacific Ocean, swimming cool waters of, of uh, calm southern lakes, and absorb the, uh, the invigorating energy of fast moving Andean rivers, breath deeply and in the poorest air, and rely the nature at its finest soil. But without a doubt, the Mapuche culture is a fundamental element in the Chilean heartland, and which your awareness of Chile's fascinating indigenous culture, sample their delicious food, witness their traditions, and perhaps experience you for yourself a mystical connection with these people who keep their ancient tradition alive even in, mon even in modern times. I'm sorry. And yeah, the nature. Well, the nature in the South is, you can come and discover unique native species 
in the forest glaciers and those in, uh, of other distinctive environment which make up Chile's system of protected wilderness area. Visit them on foot, on horseback, or by bike, and always taking care of their preservation. Actually, in total, almost 20% of Chile's extensive territory is currently protected between the ocean and the mountain. And another thing to enjoy in the South is you can practice your favorite water sport in Southern Chile's countless lakes and rivers. Enjoy a day's fishing or simply explore and observe uh, the flora. And if you are an adventurer, head for Pucón on the shores of uh, Lake Villarrica for adrenaline field white water rafting hydro speed or actually could be kayaking. And if we move to the extreme south, we'll find Patagonia and Antarctica. And in the beginning of the Patagonia, the Carretera Austral is the Austral Highway, a scenic Patagonia road that is one of a kind in the world over 1,000 kilometers of natural beauty await, await you at the southernmost tip of the world. The Carretera Austral, old Southern Highway, captures the heart of intrepid drivers and cyclists with its pristine landscape and possibility to fresh out in the world. And of course, Torres del Paine the Turkish waters, glaciers, and towering granite horns of the Torres Alpine invite to immerse yourself in this past national park. A backpack and comfortable shoes are all you require for a trekking adventure, the best possible way to enjoy, the, to enjoy and explore this UNESCO World Biosphere Reserve. And of course, you are, if you can feel that you are in the end of the world, behold the majesty of the Cabo de Hornos National Park, declared, declared World Biosphere Reserve by UNESCO. You can lose yourself horseback riding along the shores of the Beagle Channel and the Dientes de Navarino mountain range. Be taken aback by the archaeological sites that are proof of the giant's presence on the island at the end of the world. And another find, another thing you will find is, is pristine nature. Take a, a boat or, or kayaking along the Magellan Strait and you will be surprised by the penguin as they welcome you to Magdalena Island. Go on a, an adventure to Tierra del Fuego and discover the death skip secrets of the Cahuesca and Seunan people, indigenous to the southernmost part of Chile. And so as you can see, the experience are infinite as our skies are, and this nature makes Chile a unique place, a place where the impossible is possible. So thanks for joining me. And remember, if you want information about Chile, just visit chile.travel. Thank you.